Hey guys, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different than usual. Uh, I found this YouTube channel called Cars and Water. They're going to roll a clip right over here. Make sure you go to their channel, check it out, subscribe. Ooh, that looks painful. Ooh, that looks hot. Ooh, you don't want to get messed up in that kind of stuff. Ooh, don't try this stuff at home, kids. You could die. Ugh. So you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna try this stuff at home. That's right. This is a book I had since I was a kid called 365 Simple Science Experiments with Everyday Materials and over 700 cute illustrations. And we're gonna do some of these experiments today. All right? So check out their channel and we're gonna get this party started with our own crazy science experiments. Okay, the first experiment that I'm gonna do, don't know if it's gonna work, it should. You take a pop bottle and it's cap. That's easy. Take the cap. And you wet it! Put the cap on top of the bottle. And then you just put your hands around the bottle and it's supposed to make the top of it pop like that. See that action? I'm not squeezing it. You're not supposed to squeeze it. Whoa. Why does that happen? Well, when you put this on there, the water on it acts as a seal, keeping the air in. When you put your hands on the bottle, it warms the air molecules inside, making them move faster. So they want to escape, so they push the top off. Science, isn't it great? This experiment is really simple. All you need is a small glass, a piece of paper, a paper towel, and a bowl of water. Take the piece of paper and crumple it up. You put it into the cup so that it won't fall out. Okay, good. Science is what I'm doing. What are you doing? You're I'm interrupting my science. I Leave so I can do my science. Okay, now that the paper is inside of the cup, I guess what we're supposed to do is just tip it over into the water like this. And so it's completely submerged. I guess you slowly take the cup out of the water. So, you dry the inside of the cup, and you're supposed to take the piece of paper out, and it's supposed to be dry. Whoops. And it is completely dry, even though it was submerged in the water. What is this witchcraft? It's science, is what it is. Why does this happen? It's because when you take the paper and you put it in the cup, the air is still in there when you put it downward. The air molecules create a shield against the paper. Water does get into the cup, but the air molecules are there, blocking the paper from getting wet. Crazy ass witchcraft. For this next experiment, what we're gonna need is a glass filled to the brim with ice cubes. And then we're gonna need some warm water. Crazy stuff. I bet you can't find this in your house. So, this experiment, if the polar ice caps were to melt, would the sea levels rise, yes or no? Okay, this is a really easy one. What we're gonna do is we are gonna pour the water into the cup of ice, and then we're kinda just gonna wait and see what happens, you know? Fill to the brim. And if you're not an idiot, you'd know that it's not gonna overflow because of the law of mass and mass of the ice cubes and the water and it's just going to displace the water. But let's just wash it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm too impatient to wait for all of the ice cubes to come out, but as you can see there's a couple left and the water is the same level. So no worries people, the polar ice caps melt will be fine. Well thanks for doing some experiments with me today. Some of them worked and some of them didn't due to my own stupidity. So you know what? Whatever. I'll see you guys soon. I love you. Comment below something about bananas. Bye!